So, interested in a Triton track saw? Stick around, this is going to be the video for you. Triton have two track saw models, the TTS 1400, which has a 165mm blade, and the TTS 185 kit, which has a 185mm blade. There are some differences between them, but first we're going to run you through the similarities. Both machines have a variable speed 1400 watt motor with dynamic low control. This means the blade speed remains consistent even when taking cuts. Both saws are compatible not only with just the Triton tracks, but with tracks from other brands as well. Triton sell their tracks as two 700mm lengths or as a single 1500mm length. Both saws also have a beveled track lock, which means it won't fall off the track when you're making bevel cuts. The saws can make bevel cuts ranging from 0 to 48 degrees, with bevel locks in the front and the back. Both saws also feature a scribe mode, which locks the cut depth to 2.5mm when sitting on the track. This is super handy when cutting melamine or veneered laminates as it massively reduces your tear out. The initial light cut keeps the friction low on the blade, which means you get a nice clean straight line and you can then take your deeper cut after. Both saws have a depth adjustment gauge with a flip up track compensator. This means you can both measure and lock your cut depth accurately off the track and then add on the extra depth by flipping the compensator down before making the cut. The adjustment dial also features a blade change mode. This locks the plunge height into a specific spot so that the bolt is accessible through the window at the side. You can then press the spindle lock button to loosen the bolt and there's no need to disassemble the guard when changing your blades. The base on the two saws has an anti-kickback safety feature. You can see how this works underneath. This screw holds the anti-kickback cam in place and the friction holds the track, meaning it can only move in one direction. This feature is always on, so to return the saw back to the start of the track without removing it, turn the dial to zero and pull it back to the start. The anti-kickback feature will work automatically when the saw is moving forwards, and it also disengages when it's lifted off. The saw also features front and rear fine adjustment cams to stop any track wobble and give you a super clean cut. So the main difference that separates these two saws is the blade size. The 1400 has a blade size of 165mm, whereas the 185 kit is 20mm bigger, which means that it can make deeper plunge cuts. The difference in blade sizes means that they have different maximum depth of cuts. The max depth of cut on the 1400 is 57mm, whereas on the 185 kit it's 68mm. The other key difference between the two saws is, as the name implies, the 185 kit can only be bought as a kit, which comes with the two 700mm tracks and the clamps included. The 1400 can only be bought standalone with the clamps and tracks purchased separately. Our track saw is one of our most used tools in our workshop, particularly because we're working in a small space, breaking down full sheets of plywood isn't particularly easy on our table saw. A track saw is also a great alternative to a table saw if you don't have one in your shop already, as it's the best way to get a straight edge on your material. We've been using the 1400 now for a couple of years. The 185 does come in handy if you ever need to make that slightly deeper cut. It also comes as a full kit, so it's great if you're just starting out or buying your first track saw as it comes with everything you need in the box. Well hopefully that gives you all the information you need to become a track saw master. Hope you enjoyed that one guys, see you on the next one.